Hello everyone, welcome to my video series of MolBio Explained in 3 Minutes where I explain a concept of molecular biology in less than 3 minutes or so. If you haven't yet subscribed the channel, hit that subscribe button. In today's installment, we'll talk about Touchdown PCR. So, Touchdown PCR is not a totally different type of PCR, it's just a modification of the existing PCR protocol. Now, in this protocol, the initial annealing temperature is higher than the optimal te annealing temperature and gradually it reduces to the optimal temperature. This enhances the specificity and yield of these PCR reactions. So this touchdown PCR utilizes all the similar reagents that we use in normal PCR reaction. The difference lies in the program. In a moment, we would understand how this program is set. And this touchdown PCR is comparable to the touchdown of an airplane. Now you have seen how airplanes land, right? They gradually decrease their altitude and then land on the runway. Now in touchdown PCR, similar things happen. So in touchdown PCR, they gradually decrease their annealing temperature until they reach their optimal temperature. So the PCR cycle is like this. There would be initial 10 cycles where in the annealing step, there would be a decrease in temperature. Each cycle, the temperature would decrease. And the later half would look like any normal PCR, which would have that optimal annealing temperature. And lastly, the PCR would be done. So the main step is this initial 10 cycles. Each cycle reduces the temperature to let's say 1 degree. And in 10th cycle, this particular PCR reach its optimal temperature for primer annealing. Now what's the advantage of these kind of touchdown based approach? Let me tell you clearly. So once touchdown PCR is performed, there are few advantages. First of all, if we have very low annealing temperature, then there could be non-specific binding of the primer and primer dimer formation. And if we have too high annealing temperature, even specific interactions won't be so much perfect. That is why there would be low yield. Now in touchdown PCR, what happens initially, since the TM is high, then only highly specific primer and template pairing is allowed and the non-specific interactions that might occur are actually avoided at this higher temperature. So these non-specific binding does not happen when the temperature is pretty high, right? In short, TDPCR reduce the probability of non-specific binding and at the end result, instead of getting a smear, you get crisp bands, nice yield in the PCR. So the overall advantage of doing a touchdown PCR is better specificity and better yield. Lastly, this PCR technique is just a modification of the PCR program and it doesn't require additional expensive material. So it's cost effective and it saves your time. So next time you are thinking about low yield and want specificity, try touchdown PCR. Now, if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can support my channel in Patreon. If you're an Indian viewer, you can support my channel via Veeam UPI. And as usual, like, share, and subscribe. You can also take my Unacademy course using code AP10. You can get a 10% discount. Thank you.